Hello guys, welcome back to Science Studios once so again. This is Mangit K, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get a uniform skin tone in Photoshop. So without wasting much more time, let's jump right in. So this image right here, I got it from Google. I don't know the photographer who shot this image, but I think if I know, I'm going to give the credit to him. But I got this image from Google. Yes, respectfully. So right now, what you are going to do is you're going to create a new layer. That's what we are going to put in our skin color codes so that we can derive a uniform skin tone for this image. So after creating the new layer, go for your brush. You can press B on your keyboard to get it straightforward. Make sure your brush is a hard brush and the size should be something in an average form. It's not that too big and not too small to us. Well. So this is the point we are going to get the color codes to get a uniform skin tone for this image. So what you are going to do is you are going to select the highlights, the mid-tones and then the shadows. So if you look into this image, you are going to know that these parts are the highlights on top of the nose and then these sides are the mid-tones and then the shadows. The all these parts are shadows. So we are going to go on our odds to get our color picker tool and then we make sure we get the right highlight color before we release. Yes. And then you just give one stroke. Yes. And then we move to our mid-tone. So we are going to repeat that for the rest of the process. Yes. So now move to our mid tones and our mid tones can be here or the side or the cheeks so something a bit darker will work yeah this is okay so we've gotten our mid tones and then we move to our shadows so our shadows should be deep than our mid tones as well so after doing this now we've gotten the color code to get a uniform skin tone for this image. This is what we are going to work on. Yes. So after doing that, come to your adjustment panel here and then select gradient map. Make sure you don't select the mask else when you click on the color codes, it's not going to work. So make sure you select on the gradient icon, move to your gradient bar here. And that's where we are going to work. So firstly, our highlights will start from this point and then the others will follow. So you just have to click here and then give one click here. That's where the mid-tones are going to be. Yes, the reason why the image is looking black is because of our foreground color here. Yeah, but we are going to change it. So just give another click here again. Click on the color. And then now when you have your color code, Click on the highlights and then click OK. And then you come to the mid tones, then that's the middle. And then you click on color and then go follow mid tones color codes to as well. And then lastly, our shadows. And then we click on the shadows as well. So after doing this, you can save it for future use. Maybe you have an image, you want to apply the same color grading to it then we don't have to go through all this process again but after doing this we are not done we have to manipulate it so that we can get some clarity and a contrast in our color grading as it's going to look artificial so we can drag the shadows a little forward just to get that clarity so we can see as dragging it you can see some changes in the image if you check the cheeks and then that's the shadows and then the highlights, everything should be popped out well. Yes. So you just have to re regulate it to your own choice. And then after doing all the regulations and the manipulation in this gradient bar, you click on OK. After doing this, you are not done as well. You have to change the blending mode to color yes sometimes soft light also works but for this tutorial i'm going for color yes 
So after doing that, now you select your mask here. Yes, the layer mask here. That's where we are going to brush. Because right now we can see the gradient is affecting the whole part of the image. Yes, we have to eliminate some part of it. So now this particular layer is useless. I think we will turn it off or maybe delete it. It's useless for now. So right now we have to invert this layer mask. To do that, just click Ctrl plus I on your keyboard. And then the effects will go off. So now what you have to do is get your brush and then brush to reveal the effect. So press B on your keyboard again. This time around, they are going to use a soft brush. So take the hardness all the way to 0%. And then the size too should depend on you. Yes, but it shouldn't be too big or too small. And then make sure your foreground color is on white. Yes, and also, in my previous video, I did a trick and then people were asking me of how I did it. Or how I went about it. So to know where you are brushing now, where we are going to make mistakes. There is this feature in Photoshop that helps you. So you just have to click on the slash key on your keyboard to reveal it. Yes, it says as a mask for you to know where you are branching. Yes. So after pressing the slash on your keyboard, now you can branch and then you know where you are working on. So I'll just do a rough few work here so i would like to foil this part so that we don't waste much time okay Thanks for holding your patience. And then there's one thing I would like to share. The reason why I brush on the eyes and then the eyebrow is because I wanted to finish early. But after doing that, you can change your foreground color and then go back and then paint out your eyebrow from it. Yes. Sometimes the lips can be included, but for this tutorial, I'm going to leave the lips alone. And for this image, you can even see our model has closed the eye. But you still have to take it from the eye because it's going to be applied on the eyebrow. Yeah. So we just do a gentle work. And when doing it on your own, please take your time. Because I don't want to make this tutorial too long. You might get boring that's why i'm working according to time but when doing it on your own you can take your time to gain a perfect outcome yes so our red mask is still on just for us to know where we are brushing so we don't make mistakes. So it's a nice feature in Photoshop that can help you brush well. Okay, so after doing this, let's zoom out a bit. I think I'll work a little here too. The earrings should be out. So after working on the image, just press on the slash again to deactivate the red if the red feature and then you have it right there. So right now you can see the effect is really really harsh. So we have to reduce on the opacity. And for the opacity, the figures that works for me is below 50%. Yes, sometimes the image requires 50 exactly 50 percent or sometimes above yes but we can put this at 14 let's see how it tends to be or even 50 
as I said. And 50 you can press 5 on your keyboard. You can press 5 on your keyboard to get the 50% right there. So now let's see the before and after. Before and then after. So now we can see we have a uniform skin tone right there. Yes. So there's the uniform skin tone that we've learned today. And I'll be coming with more massive videos. Please kindly stay tuned. And secondly, I have no action for this. That's why I took you guys through the process so you can derive it on your own. Yeah. Alright, so and um, please if you are new on this channel, please kindly subscribe. And then and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so as when I release any new video, you can get it. Yes, and please share it to other photographers and then colleagues too as well. Yeah. So this is your mind key and then I'm out.